Welcome to Craft in America's Sunday Sound Streams. We have been hosting live music at the Craft in America Center for the past eight years. This summer, we've been presenting a virtual mini concert series, and today we are thrilled to feature Los Angeles based artists Aperture Duo performing a pre recorded stream to conclude the series. Hi, we're Aperture Duo, and welcome to Sunday Sound Streams. We are so excited to share with you some projects we've been working on for the past few months. When quarantine started, we realized that one of the things we missed most was rehearsing and creating music together. And we realized around that time that we actually already had a piece in our repertoire that was designed for the challenge of distance. Nicholas Deo's 1560 is one of our earliest commissions and we've actually performed it in the window at Craft in America before. Um, it's a very virtuosic and very experimental piece, and it's in three movements, and each of the movements is designed for a different position where Adrienne and I are in different uh, distances from each other around the hall or the art gallery. Um, the second movement is designed for the farthest distance, and so we thought how cool it would be for us to record this with maximum distance in our own homes. Adrienne recorded her part, and then I recorded my part with her recording in my ears only, so I couldn't see her. Um, it was a huge challenge, and it was super fun, and Nicholas Deo helped us with the audio and the video, and we're going to share the result with you now. We hope you enjoy.
After playing Nick's piece, a la COVID, we realized that we could create music together even though we were far apart. Our good friend Jennifer Bowersi was writing postal pieces and so we asked her to write us one to be performed and recorded over either Skype or Zoom. We had so much fun working on Jen's piece that we decided to ask three other artists uh, to write us short pieces designed for distance. So we're calling this collection of pieces our Snapshot series, and we have four videos to share with you, including Jennifer Rorzi's piece. So to kick it all off, here is Jennifer introducing her piece, Mist, and we hope you enjoy our Snapshots. Hi there, my name is Jennifer Bewersi and I live in South LA County, a small city called La Mirada. I am a cellist and I specialize in contemporary and experimental classical music. Um, my piece, uh, Mist, written for Aperture Duo, is the 11th in a series of postal pieces that I've been writing over the past couple of months where the piece is inspired by the person I mail it to. Um, in essence, mist is a musical pun. So it takes two meanings of the word miss. The accuracy version, like swing and a miss, um, and the longing version, like I miss my friends. Um, it deals with how close friends and collaborators um, can connect or can't connect over live streaming, and really what um, the internet can and can't replace. Thanks so much for listening. students. Yeah, I bet they miss you too. Yeah, you know, I, I do really like teaching online. There are definitely yeah. things I like about it, but I miss seeing them in person. How are they doing? They're good. We've been doing a lot of uh, theory and just talking and listening and yeah. other, other things besides playing, which has been good. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, but I do I do miss uh, seeing them in person and being able to tune them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> totally. Oh. Should we try it again? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to try to keep this time. Great. rehearsing but I miss the part when you stop and you just hang out with everyone totally it is it's by far the best part about being a musician yeah and the you know having some free snacks and yes snacks <laughs> really anything going outside getting fresh air with people it's just it's like a Have whole some coffee thing. yeah you just don't you don't get that on, you don't get that online it's totally different yeah definitely yeah. you want to try it again yeah, let's try again. Uh, I'll cue. Okay. souls where I, I'm, I'm always the first person there or one of you the first people there. You are always the first person there. <laughs> That's true. And that I, I don't know, I always have my book and, you know, a cup of coffee or just time to do something. Yeah, I mean, it's just like time, it's like time to get centered. It's just time to like transition yourself. Yeah, with, with the online meetings and rehearsals, I'm like, oh my god, it's time. <laughs> you just jump right into it. Everything is yeah. just super immediate. That's so true. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I need to start scheduling in 
me prep time for things. <laughs> your, your, your prep, your transition time? Yes. <laughs> what do you think? Should we try the second movement? It might work better. Sure. Okay. Um, I'll cue? Yeah. Great. Okay. Like, when it felt like everybody was in it together. Yeah, definitely. Right? Like, it, it feels like that was a different world ago. Yeah. I remember uh, feeling feeling hopeful. It was like, okay, we're all going to pause the world so we can fight this virus. And now it feels like there are just the two totally different teams on what we believe now and what matters. We were so optimistic. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. I had no idea. Yeah, me neither. Thanks. <laughs> try it again? Yeah, let's try it again. Okay. I'll cue. Okay. soon I'm sure yeah I'll see you soon bye bye hi my name is Ashawn Crawley I'm a teacher and artist and I live in Charlottesville Virginia the inspiration for my song was an attempt to think through the various emotions one might feel during the pandemic so everything from delight happiness and joy from seeing friends and family, for example, to the experiences of uncertainty, melancholy, sadness, frustration one might feel because of the social distancing and isolation. So I hope you enjoy it. Thank you.
Hi everyone, my name is Erin Rogers. I'm a saxophonist and composer. I'm based in New York City, uh, specifically in Queens, though currently I'm in Canada, which is the country I grew up in. Uh, I met Adrian and Linnea at a show in Brooklyn a few years ago. Uh, it was a home audio series show and Aperture played a double build with uh, Pope Bama, my duo project, and we all hit it off and they were great. They played an awesome set and um, asked me to write a piece for them a few years later, which I did. It's called Travelogue, and they continue to play it all over and, and slay the thing. It's great. Um, anyway, I was really excited to be involved in this project, and the piece um, that I put together for them is called Lemons Lemons, and it's dedicated to 2020 because that's so far what we've been given. Uh, the uh, main question in this piece, I mean, Adrienne and Linnea are so excellent at their instruments. My my real uh, question was, how well do they uh, make coffee? Um, how well uh, do they open seltzer bottles? Another challenging thing. And uh, I guess maybe most importantly, how well do they deal with ice from an ice cube tray, which is always a challenge. Mm. So here's Aperture Duo with Lemons Lemons. Uh, I hope you enjoy.
Hello, my name is Matt Barbier, and I'm a trombonist and composer based in Los Angeles. I'm primarily interested in experiments in intonation and noise. In my piece for the Aperture Duo, I'm exploring simple pitch material while having um, the violin tuned in traditional just fifths, while the viola is partially retuned into mean tone fifths. Adriana and Linnea simply play open strings and explore the differences in intonation between these two systems. Thank you very much to Adrienne and Linnea for playing this piece, and thank you for listening.
Thanks for watching our snapshot videos. Before we end our Sunday Sound Stream today, we wanted to share a little bit about another project that we've been working on for the past couple of months. Um, and this project is officially launching tomorrow on August 3rd. In 2019, we commissioned composer and violinist Pauline Kim Harris to write us a new piece. And we received that new piece right after quarantine started in the spring. So we pretty much realized that a live premiere wasn't going to be happening anytime in the near future. When we got the piece and learned that each movement was based on a different full moon, we got really excited about the idea of recording and releasing each movement with the full moon. So here's Pauline Kim Harris talking a little bit about her piece, Moon Units. And the launch is tomorrow, so stay tuned for that, for our year-long project of each movement one at a time paired with Adrian Pope's, that Adrian's incredible video art. Hi, this is Pauline Kim Harris, and I'm excited to talk a little bit about the violin and viola duo Moon Units that I wrote for Aperture Duo. Being a violinist myself, I got super excited thinking about a virtuosic showpiece. And of course, it prompted a lot of crazy ideas. It feels like around the time I was working on the piece, there were particularly a lot of super moons. And in fact, this piece was finished on April 7th, which was the pink super moon. For me, I'm blown away by the brightness and the singularity of this object that orbits Earth and functions as a satellite. Billions of years old, and no matter where we are on the planet, we can all look up at the same moon. I've also been kind of obsessed with the concept of miniatures. And I got to thinking, could virtuosity be captured in less than a minute? So I started sketching a bunch of virtuosic passages and licks. And before I knew it, I had something like 13. Once I figured that out, I was able to organize the ideas into units of a minute or less. Sturgeon is a great entry point for the piece. And by diving right into it, it establishes the sound space that I was imagining. I'm especially grateful to Kevin Ramsey, the engineer, who took on the task of mixing the recording. In the 40 seconds of Sturgeon, you can experience a drony chord progression, a halo of harmonic overtones, and a veil of pyrotechnic arpeggios. <laughs> Thank you so much to Craft in America for having us today on your Sunday Sound Stream. We are so thrilled and honored to be a part of the Craft in America community. We had our first ever Aperture Duo concert five years ago this summer in the window, and we are just so happy to be here today, even digitally, with you all. Special thanks to Terry for all your work and creating this platform for artists to share their music right now. Thank you all for tuning in. Bye! Bye. Thank you for listening, and a big thank you to Aperture Duo. Craft in America is a nonprofit organization with a mission to promote handcrafted work through programs in all media. Our Craft in America Center on West 3rd Street in Los Angeles produces six to eight exhibitions per year, featuring work by local and nationally acclaimed artists. The center also operates an education outreach program for public K-12 schools and local colleges. Our Peabody Award-winning series has produced 23 episodes to date, and you can watch all episodes for free on craftinamerica.org and pbs.org.